Hello guys and welcome back for a new video. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be kind of short. Um, I got some suggestions in the comments that they wanted to know how exactly I did the ticks for the fusion. So I thought why not go ahead and show you that really really easy and just quickly video here. Now TNT blows up in 10 full repeaters meaning that we need a delay of 10 full repeaters onto our pistons. So let's go ahead and do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Now that we've done that, you can go ahead and fold that on full delay. Okay, great. So we also need repeaters to check that in. That is one tick. So take one tick away. Now I do want um, this to be like that. So now both of them is connected. This power here. Uh, represents um, basically what's going out of the barrel. Um, the, the repeater, sorry, sorry, I got confused. I was thinking of something. Uh, but this right here represents sand and slap bust. This one over here that is on delay represents the hammer. And we're doing that because we're using three ticks difference between the slap bust, ham slap bust and sand and the hammer. So what happens is that whenever you are at a wall, if you have a three ticks difference between two pieces of TNT, you will notice that not both of them is going to hit the same, or be, in, be in the same block. Because if this one here is on three tick delay, that means that this right here will get to the wall first, right? And in three ticks, this TNT will fall one block. Okay? And then whenever the next TNT comes in, they're going to look something like this. And that is basically what we are taking advantage of right here is to have this exact the exact delay we need for it to fall one block and that is three ticks so we have the first power which is this one right here that will fire off the sand and slap bust that will fall one block before this one right here will go in with the hammer and stack everything down does it make sense all right great so we got 10 full repeaters um right here and of course, we had to minus it one tick because there was repeaters up here already. Uh, so that counts as one tick. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and we can go ahead and try to fire this up and see what happens. You will see that both these two TNT goes out in one scoop and goes into one block. We don't want that. We actually want to have a three ticks delay onto the hammer because we have three ticks delay right here. Then automatically we want three takes delay right here one two three and now if you look closely you will see that everything works out perfectly and there we go perfect now you can add a little bit more delay to everything right here it doesn't have to be 10 exactly but you get what i mean now that we that got that sorted out I quickly want to show you guys what we do with the red sand so as you know i like to have my red sand right here the one shot sand right here and I just simply go ahead and put some glowstone up like this, like this. So I see some of you guys having problems because you choose to have uh, two delays right here on the repeater. And then of course that will max out to three ticks. But the difference right here is that you need some kind of delay to tell these pistons when to go off. So as you see right here, now that doesn't really work because they work on the, the push out at the same time and the sand wouldn't be able to fall down before this one goes off. So it's very, very important that you don't do that and you simply have that or you can even have this. That's fine as well. Uh, so you have two ticks on this that will work out as well. Or you can even do one. Actually, you can do that as well. But that is very, very glitchy and you might not want to do that. Um, it, it does work, but it is glitchy. So. Let's go ahead and go on to this side right here and show you. As you see right there, it, it does work, but it is very, very glitchy. So you want to have two, two ticks on that one, which is probably the best in this situation. Now, to do with the sand, um, you can do all kind of sand compressions, um, but it's all going to end now. Like you can do one push, you can do four push, you can do eight push, you can do whatever you want with uh, sand compressions. But all in all, uh, it must fire out of the sand compression the same way. So all you need to do is to make sure that your sand goes in on the first power, which shouldn't really be a problem because you know when you're right and you know when you're wrong. 
When you're wrong, the sand stays in the with, with the hammer and it's not gonna stack. If you're right, it's gonna stack all the way and you're good to go. Now the easy and that shouldn't really be an easier way to kind of try to guide you in the right direction. What you can do is to take this one off right here and just make sure that the sand goes in just when it explodes. So as soon as it explodes, or you don't want it to fall too far down. You don't want the sand to like start up here and then fall down and just before it hits the ground it's gonna explode you kind of want it to go in and then as soon as it goes here you might want to like dip half a block and then it gets fired out because you need the time for the hammer here to explode as well so it's very important that the sand goes in at the right time which shouldn't really be a problem it, it's fairly simple to do guys it's, it's fairly simple to do so i don't really need to showcase that for you uh, this time here but if you have any more uh, problems with this right here let me know down in the comments and I will, I will make a new video and explaining that if you don't really know about the sand compressions and stuff like that uh, but this type of fusion is basically the only fusion that can slap boss besides velocity fusion and velocity fusion is have, is have to do with distance and that is uh, time uh, because if they, you do it over a large amount of chunks, um, the distance between your power and your hammer actually plays a difference. And, and so I'm not going to go into velocity fusions. Um, we can maybe do that in another, uh, another video. Just let me know down in the comments if you want to hear more about that. Uh, but this right here is basically the only way to slap busts when fusioning besides velocity fusion of course so this is this is why this can here is so powerful because you can't order of entity fusion and slap us at the same time so we have to use either velocity or we have to use um, this double pulsing of power and to be honest velocity fusion is a is a good thing but you need a massive amount of power and you need to be a massive amount of chunks away so i just thought that this kind of fusions is probably what you guys would like now there's different ways to do these fusions here of course you don't need both sides to go off at the same time you can actually have this this uh, side here going off um, and then three ticks after you can have this side going off that's going to help you when filling the cannons well that's at least what i do on my fusions uh, not the ones i release of course but the ones i have um, personally i like to have uh, one side go off and then three ticks after the other side but that creates a massive power you need a massive power to do that um, but i have already built my fusions with a massive power um, mainly because people requested it of course you don't need to run with that much power uh, i always suggest you calculate how much power you need before you start the raid so you know how much you need and you don't need to waste any but i think that'll be just about it for this small video here guys hope this has helped you out a lot and maybe give you guys an inspiration to do your own cannons um, but I think that'll be just about it. Remember to like this video here and comment down below if you have a problem, suggestion, you name it, whatsoever. Go ahead and leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Um, but as always guys, remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter, and I'm out.